We were connected without an internet connection. I was thinking presence, you know, actually having a presence. We were present. Warm. Good morning, Mr. Roberts. How are you feeling today? I've been better. Here, sit down and let me take your pulse. At the heart of a nurse-patient interaction is presence, connection, and warmth. Sitting with the patient, taking his hand, feeling his pulse, checking if he's sweaty or anxious. The assessment is between two people, two humans. It was a different time in healthcare. Longer stays. Less acuity. We took more time. To prepare the clinic for the day, the night before, we had to pull all of the charts and we'd have to print out all of the patients they're seeing tomorrow. We had these ginormous charts, hardback charts of papers, and you had to shuffle through them to find information. Sometimes you couldn't even read the handwriting. We sometimes would have to go through from A to Z trying to find an A chart because it was misfiled. Then you had to make sure that whatever results you needed were ordered and printed, and put it into the chart and faxed up for each provider. We had a board that we put the schedules on, so you'd know which patients were going where, and then the patients that are no-show. Then you had all these charts you pulled and you need to put them back, and you'd be adding new patients on throughout the day, so you had to go back in and look through all those charts to get your chart out for the provider. It was like going into the jungle. We had these six-sided flow sheets. You'd have the patient's labs, and then any kind of viral studies, and then on the end, you would have a space to write what happened. It was an amazing way to look. With these handwritten flow sheets, you could say, oh my gosh, I see. This is when the patient got admitted. This is when we started that medication. We did a study, and then this is what happened. And this is when the patient got discharged. I have yet to see an electronic record, and I've worked with four different ones now, that generates a flow sheet that tells you a real story instead of just a snapshot picture. Busy. Hectic. Separated. Cold. When you see a patient, you have this workstation on wheels, a wow in front of you, and you're looking at it, and you're clicking, and you're asking questions, but you're not really looking at the patient. What brings you in today? Click. Click. Wah, 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 oh, Drat, I, I can't wah, find wah, the right wah, tab. Wah, wah, Click. Wah, wah, wah. Click. Wah, Whoops, wah, I made a mistake. Wah, wah. Hang on. Wah, 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 wah. Wait, what did wah, you just wah, say? Wah. I was at the clinic yesterday, and I was really annoyed by my provider, and I'm going to tell you why. She was proceeding to tell me what we talked about the last time and what she wrote in her notes. And I'm like, well, no, actually. The dose is not five. I think we agreed that I was going up to 7.5. And she's like, no, it's five. No, it's not. I take three 2.5s. Therefore, I take 7.5. Well, here it says you've been taking five. I don't know where you got that from, but I'm telling you it's 7.5. I'm saying this, and I'm thinking maybe the dose is from a different patient, and she put the wrong dose into my record. And I'm feeling she's looking at the monitor. Click. Click. She's doing her thing, and I'm thinking, okay, nothing is going in. On my way home, I start to worry, and I wonder if she actually made a note and corrected my record. It's really concerning to me because, you know, people make mistakes. I feel like looking at your patient or seeing how they respond to a certain question is important. I just view the EHR as a barrier. I don't use the wow anymore. I actually prefer writing my assessments down on paper because I just prefer that human interaction. It's not natural. And so you spend that extra hour doing your charting? Yeah, I do, I do. And that creates another problem because the choices are limited in the EHR and I have to try to make my notes fit into the system. And there's only so much room to write a little note with each assessment. What he's talking about is a workaround. Nurses do this when an electronic health record does not work for them. They figure out a workaround to make it work. They don't have the time to really address the problem. And it's not worth going beyond the workaround because you're going to get put into the queue and you're number 2042. And you think, I'm not even going to bother because it's never going to happen because they want to work on their building or some other things. The nursing issue is really not important. This is frustrating because we have the technology. Why can't this electronic system be more intuitive and user-friendly? Why does there have to be so much complexity on the screen? Why isn't it just a singular flow sheet? But they have multiple flow sheets, multiple tabs, multiple everything? When you think about nursing care today with all of the technology, it actually, I would argue, has created more work for us, not less. Well, from my point of view, 
technology has improved nursing because information is easily readable. It's just a click away. It's just so much simpler. You look at the schedule and you see who's coming and instead of getting the charts out, what we do is print an updated patient information sheet, one for each returning patient. If there are new patients, then we have them complete the packet and scan that into the record. If they're no-show, we just click no-show and then move them from blue to pink or white to pink or whatever. It's all fingertip controlled. And there's so much more control over everything. And the patient information is so much more secure because the charts are not laying all around the office. Sure, but different healthcare providers all have a different EHR and they all have a different portal. So even though the information is there for someone, it's hard to access it. It's not uniform. It's like going through a maze to figure out how to get to the information. Some places are just doing it because they think they need to have an electronic health record. Especially small places, they don't know what they're doing. They're just collecting the information, but there's nothing useful being done with it. An EHR can become a data dump. When you go see somebody else, they just send every single file and it goes under the miscellaneous tab. And no one ever digs through to see what really is going on, because there's no way to extract what's needed and put it into a logical place. What's worse is they don't know how to properly dispose of patient data. If it was paper, at least they could shred it. <laughs> a provider once told me that he puts all his hard drives at the bottom of his swimming pool for about a week, because that should erase all the data. Is that effective? Um, no. <laughs> It can be overwhelming at times. Because I see many patients in a day, I often feel distracted. Hurried. A couple of years ago, I thought I was having a heart attack. I went to the ER and I was admitted for 24 hours for some tests. They basically cleared me and said everything was fine. And the next day getting processed out, a nurse comes to me and says, hey, you know you need to follow up with a provider. I said, okay, I guess that makes sense because this is the first time I'd ever had an issue related to cardiac. She tells me to go see my ophthalmologist. And I said, why should I go see my ophthalmologist? I'm here for a cardiac issue. But what had happened was, the day before, I had gone to my chart, and I made an appointment with my ophthalmologist. And she saw that as the last order that was in my chart. She assumed that the physician had put in the order. I'm trying to explain to her, no, that was me. I did that, not the doctor. And she said, well, no, that's what it's telling me that I need to tell you to do. I said, let's take a step back and think about why would I go to an ophthalmologist if I'm here for a heart issue? She was just basically looking at me like I was an idiot. I said, all right, well, is there anything I need to sign before I leave? I think nurses can rely too heavily on the electronic health record to tell them what they need to do. They rely on it so much that they forego critical thinking. I hear this story and I'm thinking, nursing care hasn't changed. They still care. It's the system that's changed. They're still trying to be good nurses, but the system is failing them. It's such a good feeling to remember walking into a room and sitting on the side of the bed. I could sit on the side of the bed. My charting was just right there at my fingertips but I didn't have to do it right away. So that if I needed to comfort that person, I could do that first, without feeling like I got this damn cart I'm pushing around. The first thing that I would do, if I needed to, was just walk directly into the room, because I knew that person needed me to be a nurse, to check their blood pressure, to console them. Now I have to go into the room with the cart, put the cart in the corner, and then go to the patient. Or the cart is in between me and the patient. When you're talking to a patient and using an electronic health record, it's a skill. It really is a developed skill. Because in order to be successful with an electronic health record, you have to have it right there. I really try to pay attention to look at a person, but if you don't have it, the laptop or whatever right in front of you, it's completely inefficient because then you have to go back and forth. Once you start getting comfortable with it sitting there, then you're not going to be afraid you're going to misdocument something. We're working towards real-time charting. With this method, you turn the computer to the patient. So they're looking at the computer and they're making sure that what you're putting in is correct. Interesting. That's kind of nice. So I had this recent dental experience and when I was laying in that dental chair, they literally had a computer screen right in front of me off to the right. I could see everything. They had a wireless keyboard and they stood next to me and they were talking to me and I could follow along right on the screen. I have tried that technique with patients and they do respond. They look at it, they're very interested in what I'm typing and what I'm doing. 
I turned the computer to them, I showed them, and they responded to it very well. But it's hard to do that when you're trying to get things done fast, you know? Gotta get done. Gotta get done. And then if you're not using some of the tools, like the quick text and things like that, and if you think you have to click every single button for your note, then that becomes a problem too, because you're also trying to answer the patient's questions. There's so much stuff in there. Probably about 50% of it is not needed when you're taking care of a patient. And we're constantly getting updates. So as soon as you get acclimated, something changes and you've got to learn it. And it's every three months. So much time I spent on this updating and after a while it's like, I don't care, I'll just do it my way. All these continual updates are so we meet the meaningful use measures. The, the stages, stages of meaningful use. Stage one. Data capture and sharing. Stage two, advanced clinical processes. Stage three, improved outcomes. It's a system designed to create billing structures, to drive payments. We have commercial payers and government payers, Medicare and Medicaid, and they're saying that you have to meet these measures. It's improving outcomes. For who? It's gotten away from caring for your patient and sitting there and just spending that time with Mr. Smith or Mrs. Jones. Machines are invading. We have a new machine on our unit where you put the blood pressure cuffs on and you don't even use your stethoscope anymore. You give them the thermometer and then you click it and it does it all and it sends it right to Epic. Eventually, it'll be the wow doing the work as a nurse. It's possible because nurses have not yet established our value in the healthcare system. And if we don't do that at some point, we run the risk of nurses not being present in healthcare because they'll just say, well, you never proved you're of any value, so what do we need you for? Beep, beep, beep. Thunder beep, and lightning? Beep, Hurricane beep, Norma. Beep, Power beep, outage. Beep, beep. What do we do? Where's the protocol? Nurse? Nurse? Where's his chart? Where are the flow sheets? Nurse? How do I calculate the dosage? I'm not a math major. Where are the forms? Nurse! Where is that patient? Beep, beep, beep. beep. The EHR is made up of several systems tied together that are continually changing and are geared towards different users and ultimately governed by vendors. Different systems don't connect with each other in order to generate money. We're in a for-profit system. And we just keep adding more and more new ideas so we don't get any consistency. And people keep things separated because that's how they make money. And we have these vendors who think they know what we need and now we don't even have the paper base in our system. Yes, the person who designs these things is definitely not in healthcare. You can tell by the way you have to click so many times. Or when you click on one thing, something else closes. So you know that person is only thinking about that one little piece. Everyone is working on their own little piece and plugging it into the system. If this piece doesn't match up to that piece, then those people weren't talking. We have a disconnected system of stuff. I think everything should lead from the care plan. Somebody who is a user of the system should help create an actual ecosystem of electronic health records that is rooted in nursing practice. Right. If we redesigned the EHR from an ecosystem perspective, everything would have an interdependence and there would be an inner relay of information. It would be a radical change. You know, I wish that there were some really strong-willed nurse leaders who could disrupt the whole system. I mean, walk out on electronic health records, right? That will certainly make the vendors pay attention. Why don't we just stop using them? Pull out our sheets of paper and recreate our paper-based medical records for a while. You mean create a healthcare revolution? A, a healthcare, healthcare revolution! revolution!